Welcome to Little Master Education Camp. Today we are going to see one of the historical pandemic. Still it's been talked now even though it happened 100 years before. Let's move on to the year 1918 where people lived happily. Suddenly people got affected one by one. All fell sick. People got confused. And doctor couldn't find reason behind the sickness. It spread like a forest fire and many lost their lives. Make sure to watch fully so that it will be helpful in current situation. Before starting of the video, make sure to subscribe and like our channel. Let's move on to the year 1918, even though there were no latest technology to predict what it is. The suspected cases were nearly 500 million. Deaths were nearly 50 million which were estimated, which was nearly 3% of world's population. An unique feature about this pandemic is that it affected more healthy people in and around of 20 to 40 years. There were no vaccines and no antibiotic at that time. And later on, the virus was named as H1N1 virus or Spanish flu. Since the world was affected by virus, some of the measurements which were taken were a strict lockdown was implemented, schools, colleges were closed, no public gathering, Parks closed, shops closed, and also theatres were closed. Within few months, a second wave appeared at the same year, where the victim died within an hour. So, these were implemented to safeguard the people. Some of the precautionary methods which were taken for the Spanish flu were to wear face masks, to use sanitizers frequently, to maintain social distancing, to stay safe from the virus. Since the virus attacks a respiratory system which makes the affected person to breathe smoothly. The affected persons were kept in ventilator to help them to breathe smoothly, which provides oxygen supply to the body. As mentioned before, the virus spread like a forest fire. Let's see in which all way the virus get transmitted. When an affected person cough, the virus get easily transmitted and also when affected person sneeze, when the affected person talks without using face mask, the virus gets easily transmitted by air. Some of the symptoms of this disease were the skin used to turn blue in color due to lack of oxygen supply to the lungs. Let's see in detail why it is called as Spanish flu. Actually many people thought that the flu got originated from Spain. So the name was mentioned as Spanish flu. But it's totally wrong. The media which covered the outbreak from the beginning even though Spain was hit hard by the disease. because. Spanish news source were the only one reporting on this flu. So it was mentioned as Spanish flu. Where did the flu come from? Scientists still do not know for sure where the Spanish flu originated. Some believe that the infected soldiers spread their disease to other military camps across the country. Pandemic in 2019, which most of us know which is COVID-19. The same thing is repeated now and many are suffering still. As many are aware of it that nearly 2 million people have died because of this COVID-19. With great struggle, finally scientists have discovered vaccines for COVID-19. They have circulated all over. People started taking vaccines. Let's all Thank our frontline workers who work day and night to prevent the spread of disease. They are the real heroes 
and heroines. Let's all thank them once again, the healthcare workers as well as the essential workers. Let's all stay safe. Thank you for watching and make sure to subscribe and like our channel.